is in the last class we have been seen the quadratic forms how to find the quadratic form of the from the given matrix or if the quadratic form is given then how it can be extracted its coefficient matrix and the nature of that one okay now let's do the problem on that before going to the problem we will revise that nature of the quadratic form that suppose let a is the rank of the quadratic form rank of the quotient matrix of the quadratic form say r or the rank of the quadratic form is defined as the rank of the its coefficient matrix okay and index is the total number of positive square terms in its canonical form signature is the difference of positive and negative square terms in the canonical form of the quadratic form nature defines positive definite negative definite positive semi definite negative semi definite indefinite where positive definite defines if rank of the quadratic form is equal to n where it is of n variable then the rank is equal to n and, and s is equal to n that means index is equal to n all the uh, square terms are positive okay negative definite if r is equal to n and s is equal to 0 it is said to be negative definite or else you can also define in terms of the eigen values if all the eigen values are negative of quotient matrix a then the quadratic form is said to be negative definite positive definite so positive semi definite If r less than n and s is equal to r, or if all the eigen values of a are less than or equal to zero and at least one eigen value zero, no, sorry, greater than or equal to zero, sorry, all eigen values of a greater than or equal to zero and at least one eigen value is zero, then it is said to be positive semi-definite. Negative semi-definite if r less than n and s is equal to zero. Are all the eigen values of a less than or equal to zero and at least one eigen value zero? So then the quadratic form is said to be negative semi-definite, indefinite in all other cases. In all other cases, it may not be a positive definite or negative definite or positive semi-definite or negative semi-definite. In all other cases, so that. Uh, A quadratic form is said to be indefinite. Okay. Now let's see. I would like to giving you the procedure how to find out the uh, reduction. That means not find out a reduction of the quadratic form into canonical forms. So let's take it from procedure. for reducing quadratic form into canonical form and work canonical form by orthogonal transformation step 1 find the quotient matrix coefficient matrix (coughs) 
square foot matrix of the given quadratic form. <coughs> okay. Step two. Find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, corresponding eigenvectors of a quotient matrix. Step three. Uh, what will be step three? Form the matrix. Which matrix? Diagonal matrix. Model matrix P containing containing the normalized eigenvectors. Normalized eigenvectors of the air. Okay. Then step four. Using the transformation, the because when P is normalized, then it will be orthogonal matrix. Right. So therefore, use the orthogonal transformation. X is equal to P Y. Reduce. The quadratic form into canonical form. Uh, here reduce, uh, okay, reduce the canonical form. Right. So, last step write the canonical form. How that canonical form will be? The required canonical form. Lambda 1, y1 one square plus lambda 2, y2 two square plus lambda 3, y3 square plus so on plus lambda n, y n square, sum of squares, okay? Right? You may have a doubt here, here where is the sum of squares? Where the coefficients are lambda 1, lambda, they are constants, they, are, they can, we can write it in square form. Right? Root lambda 1, y1 whole square, root lambda 2, y2 whole square, like that we can write it. Okay? Their coefficients will be at the eigenvalues. This is sum of squares. Okay, this is the procedure we have to be follow for finding the uh, required eigen uh, required quad, uh, canonical form so from the given quadratic form. Okay, right? Any doubt in the procedure? 
No, sir. Hmm. Can we can we do the problem? Sure. Hmm? Sir. Hmm. Right. Nature also needs to discuss it. like a problem. take it. Reduce the quadratic form three x one square plus three x two square. Plus 3x3 square plus 2x1x2 plus 2x1x3 minus 2x1, uh, sorry, x2x3 into canonical form. using the orthogonal transformation. Using the orthogonal transformation. Because there is another simple method also. We can write just sum of squares of the given uh, quadratic form. I will tell you later. That is one direct uh, canonical form is there. Suppose if you no need to find out the orthogonal transformation, you can also write directly. Okay? Hmm? Yes, sir. Hmm. Now first uh, go through this, through the orthogonal transformation. Next another I will give you the short form. So the given quadratic form is form Q is equal to 3x1 square plus 3x2 square plus 3x3 square plus 2x1 x2 plus 2x1 x3 minus 2x2 x3 hmm. Hmm. how many number of variables are there three three variables which are x1 x2 x3 so let x is equal to x1 x2 x3 given q is equal to x transpose a into x actually this we have to find out that first that its coefficient matrix you find out how we can write it that is of 3 by 3 matrix no a is equal to how we can find out the entries or elements in a matrix A from the given one. You just uh, take it in such a way there are x1, x2, x3, x1, x2, x3, x1 square for the term which is a uh, coefficient 3, x1, x2 and x2, x1. How much is there? 
x1 x2 coefficient is 2 that is to be accommodated in 1 2 position as well as 2 1 position so therefore that is 2 in 1 2 position right the 2 is to be half of 1 2 position and 2 1 position next 1 3 also 2 1 1 3 and 3 1 hmm? X2 2, X2 and X2, X2 square, X2, X3, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, 2, 3 and 3, 2 position, next, okay, yes sir, half you write, a is equal to this much. Now you find out its eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The coefficient matrix. The matrix of the transformation is Tell me what are the eigenvalues? Their characteristic equation. Step one, finding eigenvalues. Step one, finding eigenvalues. Huh? Step one the quadratic form is okay. Now step two, eigenvalues. So four, four, one. Huh? Four, four, one. Ah, one, four, four. Okay. So the characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 that implies I hope you may be find out this lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 4 whole square is equal to 0 Eigenvectors for lambda is equal to 1, the eigenvector x1 is equal to minus 1, 1, 1. Hmm? Similarly, for lambda is equal to 4, there will be two eigenvectors for being lambda. There will be one zero one and x three is equal to zero one one.
sir what we have to do sir next you derive the eigen vectors right now now yes. the model next step is model matrix and then normalized model matrix what is no model matrix p is equal to x1 x2 x3 okay that is equal to x1 is minus 1 1 1 x2 is 1 0 1 x3 is 0 1 1 1 right so hmm normalized model matrix p cap or whatever you can write it that is x1 by norm x1 x2 by norm x2 x3 by norm x3 here i am writing x1 this much what is norm x1 square root of all the elements square of the elements minus 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square that is equal to root Three. Now x two root two. Now x three root two. Right? Yes, sir. Normalize the model matrix. Matrix is minus one by root three. Three. One by root three. One by root three. X two. One by root two. Zero. One by root two. Zero. One by root two. One by root two. This is P, the normalized model matrix of P. Right? And now using the orthogonal transformation. Is that x is equal to a normalized matrix P that must be orthogonal? Hmm? Right? That resulting you take it P yes. transpose P cap transpose a into P is equal to find out. Whether it is diagonalized or not, let's check it. Later we will write it. Now, P transpose A P. P transpose cap only, a normalized matrix only. One by root three, one minus one by root three, one by root three, one by root three, one by root two, zero, one by root two. 
जीरो वन बाय रूट टू वन बाय रूट टू ये ये इज व्हाट व्हाट इज ये थ्री व्हाट इज ये आ थ्री वन 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 थ्री माइनस वन वन माइनस वन थ्री तो ये मैट्रिक्स है माइनस वन थ्री माइनस वन बाय रूट थ्री माइनस थ्री आ नो ना माइनस थ्री मल्टीप्लाई इट शुड बी रिप्रेजेंटिंग यू द डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स देन ओनली दी साथ में ना ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रिड्यूसेस योर क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्म इनटू कैनोनिकल फॉर्म सम ऑफ स्क्वायर्स राइट मल्टीप्लाई दिस Whether it results in you or is resulting you i have a bit doubt on that problem please check it carefully sir finding find m oh fine fine find, find out fine. slowly find out carefully सर वन जीरो 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 फोर जीरो 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 फोर वन जीरो जीरो डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स सर सर वन जीरो 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 फोर जीरो 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 फोर राइट दैट इज ओनली रिक्वायर्ड ना दैट इज ओनली वी रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज इक्वल टू डी राइट 
That is equal to one zero 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 four zero 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 four, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Diagonal of lambda one, lambda two, lambda three. Say that is equal to d, right? So therefore, the orthogonal transformation using using this orthogonal transformation. X is equal to p cap y. That q is equal to how it will be q transformed? Y transpose d into y, right? Where y is equal to y1, y2, y3, right? We have derived that Q is equal to x transpose A into x will be transformed into y transpose d into y using this transformation, orthogonal transformation, right? Yes. We have here. Here you see how it has been, right? Using the suppose if this is an orthogonal transformation, x is equal to p y. Then Q x transpose A x how it has been reduced y transpose d into y right? Yes. This will be of form lambda one y one square plus lambda two y two square plus so on plus lambda n y n square. If y is equal to y one y two y three, this will be. Lambda one y one square plus lambda two y two square plus lambda three y three square. That is equal to one into y one square plus four into y two square plus four into y three square. This is the required sum of squares. This is the required canonical form. Right? Yes, sir. This is the required canonical form. What is the transformation? Sometimes they may be asking you to find out the transformations. Okay. What is the orthogonal transformation? Is x is equal to p bar y. X means x1, x2, x3 is equal to p is this one. You know p cap. What is p cap? Normalized matrix. Minus 1 by 3, 1 by 2, root 2, 1 by root 3, na no? 0. 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3. Here zero, one by root two, right? One by root two, one by root two, na. This is only p, p cap. Into y is y one, y two, y three, right? Minus one by root three, na. Hmm. So the transformations we can write it. X one is equal to minus one by root three y one plus one by root two y two. Next, x two is equal to one by root three y one plus one by root two y two y three. Hmm. 
right x3 is equal to 1 by root 3 y1 plus 1 by root 2 y2 plus 1 by root 2 y3 okay these are the transformations which transforms the uh, given quadratic form into sum of squares okay they may be asking you in yes, the transformations like x1 this one if you put x1 is equal this much and x2 is equal this much and x3 is equal this much you can get it easily the transformation that sum of squares of this the given quadratic form this one you can write it okay so hope you you seen the procedure right any doubt in this you can find out accordingly other problem huh? hmm? so yes yes and also we can see what is the nature of this uh, uh, quadratic form what is the nature of this quadratic form Hmm? Hello, students. Tell me what is the nature? Hmm? What is the nature of the quadratic form? Sir, it is positive definite. Positive definite, very good. It is positive definite. From the canonical form itself, we can write it. This is positive definite. Even though based on eigenvalues also we can say whether that is a positive definite or negative definite. If all the eigenvalues are positive and is equal to n, n must be, n, uh, the rank cannot be more than 3, maximum rank is equal to 3, that is equal to number of unknowns and all the eigenvalues exist and they are positive, so hence it is a Nature is positive definite. Okay. Anything you want to discuss? Suppose if they didn't give on any uh, mentioning in the problem that using the orthogonal transformation reduce the given quadratic form into canonical form. you have to follow the procedure. Otherwise, if they are not mentioned, just reduce the canonical form of the given quadratic form. Canonical form is nothing but short method, I am just writing. Huh? A quadratic form into Canonical form. Uh, sum of squares. How we can write here? The same problem can we take? Or other problem I can? Hmm? Hello. Can you take any other problem? So yes, the other problem. Hmm. Take 
reduce the question is reduce the quadratic form 3x square 5y square plus 3z square minus 2yz plus 2zx minus 2xy into canonical form. If you want to follow the orthogonal transformation, that method you can follow the previous one. Now this method is you directly write, try to write down the sum of squares. Okay, you group that one, the given quadratic form is equal to 3x square. First you need to write it them. Hmm? x plus y plus z whole square like that we can try uh, 3x square 5y square minus 2xy you write in one group then you write it 3z square the remaining one you can put it in that way 3z square 2yz plus 2zx is there you keep it accordingly you make this one into square form how we can make this into square form 3 into x square plus plus a uh, uh, 5 by 3 y square hmm, minus 2 by 3 x y plus 3 z square minus 2 y z plus 2 z x uh, right, this will be 3 into x plus x plus a x minus x minus root, root of 5 by 3 y whole square, right? Hmm? Minus minus this will give you root of five by three y square. Right? Then xy term also there. No, that xy term will be accommodated. This uh, 2 by 3, how we can? Hmm, 1 by 3 into now. Oh. 2 hmm? How we can write this? This will give 2ab. Hmm? How we can accommodate? Square form, you write these terms. Hmm? Hmm? 
So this is not that uh, x minus. We are multiply and divided by five by three root five by three now. How do we write? Write down this term. Into square form. A plus B whole square form. Hmm. Return. Hello. Otherwise, you can make it in such a way. It is very easy. I think I will tell you. Actually, you need to mention it is in the quadratic form, right? So here, write it this one and two. Three x square, okay. And there is x is in common in two x and two z x. You take that common into here. So from that minus two, you take it. That will be minus two x. Okay, minus two x into y minus z. Hello. Minus. Right. x square minus 2x into y minus z. The remaining you put it at uh, as it is 5y square plus 3z square minus 2yz. Right. You make this one into the sum of squares. So it is very clear. This we can write it as 3 times. Three times x minus hmm, or write it x square minus two into one by three x uh, one by not not one by three x x is same two x two x into one by three into y minus z. Okay. You put it plus 5y square plus 3z square minus 2yz. That is equal 3 into, now you can write this one into square form, x minus 1 by 3y minus z whole square. Right? There will be additional term is there, added and subtracted. So that for Add a term which will be here that the same amount it has to be subtracted, right? Minus times 1 by 3 into y minus z whole square, right? 
plus 5y square plus yes, 3z square minus 2yz. Okay? This part we have written a minus b whole square and there is additional term is there plus 1 by 3 into y minus z whole square is there here that we have subtracted. Right? Yes, sir. Now we can, now we, you, you keep this one as it is three times or uh, three times are making you mm, x uh, 3x okay later we will substitute into y minus z all square minus 1 by 9 into y minus z whole square plus 5y square plus 3z square minus 2yz. Here we can simplify this one. That is equal 3 into uh, 3x minus y plus z whole square by 9. Okay. Minus this is 1 by 9 minus 1 by 9 y square plus 5 y square. How much it will be? Sir, this minus. will be 1 by 3, not 1 by 9. Where? Sir, Four 1 by 9 y minus z. Ah, 1 by 3 under the square. 1 by 3. Sir, because also 3 will also be multiplied there, na? Yes, that 3, yes. I am not cancelled out. Na? 3 by 9 is there. Sir, jab I just take LCM 9. Sir, in the upper wali line, when we are doing y minus z ka whole square, kar rahe, to pe 3 bhi tha na, bracket mein bhaar, to wo bhi hoga na, iske you, are, you are talking about the first term? Uh, no, sir. Second term. Y yes. minus z whole square. Right, right. Just you squaring out this. Sir, it's the upper wali line. Mein. It's the upper wali line. Mein. This one? This one? Yes, ah, sir. Here, after this ah. bracket, ke baad, 3 will come. Oh, right, right, right. Right. Mm, 3 is the 3 multiplied. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Ah, 3 is the real right. Right. So, therefore, it will be 1 by 3. Right. Oh, yes, right. I forgot that multiplication on yeah, this multiplied right, right. Okay, this is 1 by 3 into y minus z whole square. Now you expand this y, y minus z whole square, y square plus z square minus 2 z y z, and you simplify minus 1 by 3 and plus 5. Minus 15, no, sir, plus 15 minus 1, 14 by 3, yeah? plus 14 by 3y square in the same way plus 1 by 3z and 3z uh, 33 three, uh, 9 9 plus 1 10 plus 10 by 3z square minus 2yz and here minus 2 by 3yz minus 2 minus uh, into minus plus 2 by 3 how much it will be minus 4 minus sorry minus 6 plus 2 minus 4 minus 4 y z huh? right yes sir Plus, here also you take out uh, 2 by 3 common, we just simplify. So it will be 7y square plus 5z square minus 2yz. Now you try this into the square form. Sir, sir, hmm. sir I am another way like that in the question, sir, there was uh, minus 2yz plus 2xz minus 2xy. 
सर कान बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस जेड का होल स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस जेड स्क्वायर वेर वेर यू कम यू कम यू एक्जेक्टली स्पेसिफाई द स्टेप वेर यू आर डिस्कसिंग सर सर इसका इनिशियल सर क्वेश्चन सर देर इज माइनस टू वाई जेड प्लस सर इन द इनिशियल तू स्पेसिफाई व्हिच स्टेप इट इज प्लीज सर नो नो सर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इनिशियल सर फ्रॉम सर दिस मच थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव वाई स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री जेड स्क्वायर आई लेफ्ट अनटस्ड एंड दिस माइनस टू वाई जेड प्लस टू जेड एक्स माइनस टू एक्स वाई आई राइट इट एस एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस जेड का होल स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर यू मेक इट व्हाट एवर यू आर जस्ट अल्टरेटिंग दिस इक्वेशन इनटू सम ऑफ स्क्वायर्स दैट सॉल्व हाँ सर द एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस जेड होल स्क्वायर is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and that term written here so now what do you want to say please tell me sir we will convert it into uh, every square term only sir there will only present the square terms have you achieved that uh, yes sir so it's okay you, you good you just see here this is the method first complete it huh let me complete this Right, one by three into three x minus y plus z whole square plus two by three into. Now write this one into square forms. Okay, where uh, is seven also taking into uh, common or hmm? seven take it common. Seven into y square plus five by seven z square minus two y into one by seven z. You write it right. So therefore. One by three into three x minus y plus z whole square plus fourteen by three into uh, this one y y you may write it this into the square form y minus one by seven z whole square. Uh, so what will be the other term, please? This you kept as it is, whatever it may be. That means minus one by seven whole square means one by seven z square additional term. One by seven square z square is the additional term over there. So one term it is been there minus uh, one by seven square z square already plus five by seven z square. It will be. Thirty nine, thirty five, minus one, thirty four by forty nine. That square, right? Huh? Right? Right? Yes, sir. Hmm. So now you simplify this one also. One by three into three x minus y plus z whole square plus you multiply it. Fourteen by three into y minus one by seven z square. One by z whole square. Okay. Mm, plus you multiply with this one. Fourteen into ah uh, seven can be cancelled out. So how can we cancel seven? Two zero two into thirty four sixty eight by twenty one. That square right? 
now you see all the terms are squares hmm if we assume lambda 1 y1 square plus lambda 2 y2 square plus lambda 3 y3 square where y1 is equal to this if you want to keep that uh, uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 the eigen values 1 4 4 uh, uh, it is not whatever they may be eigen values here where y1 is equal to 3x minus y plus z y2 is equal to y minus 1 by 7z this also you can simplify and y3 is equal to z okay these are the transformations by these transformations we can get it you see so if you take it y1 is equal to this much and y2 is equal to this much and y3 is equal to this much it has been expressed into squares from of squares right okay yes sir hmm. so these are the ways we have you can go with either the orthogonal transformation or if directly you want to find out the uh, reduction sum of squares you can go the, by practice you can get it that uh, that, that is a complex term uh, uh, problem we have taken so therefore that's why it comes some easy problem the coefficients are very less so then we can get it very easily but only the simple logic you take it that uh, x and x terms take in common first you make them into square and rest y z remain and y z we can also write it in the square terms and assign them y1 is equal this much and y2 is equal this and y3 is equal this it result in you the sum of squares okay then it out the students No doubt. No doubt, sir. Hmm. Can we leave, sir? Yes, yes, yes. It is. Uh, Uh, completed the course also completed enjoy and prepare well and you can follow your uh, further courses okay uh, sir wh what is the mathematics exam date huh exam date for mathematics examination section will announce okay sir. I said, okay i said properly it will be on 27 or 28 i think 